in this module we will be looking at the key differences and of course in the next module also the 10 key differences between java and javascript okay and this is uh, in 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 one module i'll be looking at four key differences remember it's the key differences there are many more differences there can be there are actually key means which are the fundamental differences okay which we'll be covering why because uh, in this course i am spending a lot of time on javascript also and people get confused maybe javascript is similar to java or java is similar to javascript so that is going to be settled in this module and the next module so let's look at the outline uh look at the background okay background uh why what are the differences what are the similarities there are certain similarities also i'll i will tell you but those are just cosmetic similarities you will be understanding the concept then the execution environment of java is very different from javascript javascript script traditionally usually executes within the client's browser static versus dynamic type language uh, the the data type which is assigned to a variable how it's fixed how it changes in javascript support of closures and of course object oriented programming so these are the things which will be covered in this module background now nothing is common between java and javascript nothing the only thing common between java and javascript is that i have this java over here and i have this java over here that is all okay i have car i have carpet these are entirely two different things there is certain similarity car and car over here that's all this this nothing so this is just a cosmetic similarity so that is how java and javascript are similar they are entirely different things javascript runs at the client side although there is node.js that was developed in 2009 which allows execution outside the browser environment but that's about it javascript is limited to the client browser and it's the choice of the client whether to allow javascript to run or not writing compilation execution of java is very different from javascript java is everywhere java is in mobile phones java is in devices java is everywhere even in toasters also certain types okay and of course uh, java is used by uh, used in android and others so javascript has limited application domain javascript is for interactivity okay like flash and validation validation means that at the client side uh, when the data is entered using javascript it is checked without uh, running a script without using the processing power of the server at the client end it's checked so that is one application of javascript is validation now let's look into more details execution in uh, environment of java and javascript is very different java is compiled interpreted and then binary bytecode right so is the binary code which is run on a certain environment right which is not the case for javascript javascript is executed by the browser okay it is executed by the browser and supported by most of the browsers okay java was developed by sun system javascript by netscape initially it was called live script but then started be called javascript and that's i why i am talking about in this module java needs jdk or jre okay but usually every modern browser supports javascript static and dynamic type language java when in java you declare a variable the type of the variable at the compile time and that type stays the same that is not the case in javascript javascript accepts different types of variables and when this type of this this is performed okay then it corrects the type of course there is the equality check also they are different i am not going to uh, go into de details in this module but when the time comes in the subsequent module we will look into more details more differences support of closures javascript pass function as an argument that is not the case for java that is not the case for java so they are different java is pure object oriented programming paradigm okay javascript is scripted op scripted op they are different java you develop large systems is very powerful 
is very stable it has a lot of functionality you can develop entire systems using java and they are developed but javascript is and is usually uh, not used for never for making enterprises javascript sits close with css cascading style sheets with html for certain types of applications with limited domain of course uh, that is not the case for everywhere but usually is the case java is much better deployed and much better controlled using jar var and air so you see they are different things they are different animals altogether i believe you get the point 